Boxy knockouts can be dramatic. All it takes is one well-placed shot landing perfectly on target for one guy's lights to go completely out. Question, I suppose, against Stevenson as well. Oh, there is the power! Left hand! There have been numerous stunning knockouts throughout boxing's glorious history, performances that have had fans on the edge of their seats and on their feet in applause. That's why they say you should never blink during an all-action fight because you never know when it will end, and it can end quickly. Without further ado, here are our top 15 punches that shocked the boxing world. The interim WBA middleweight title on the line. The fight did not go as expected. All it took was a little over 20 seconds and less than five punches thrown by Hassan to knock the previously undefeated Alfonso Blanco out cold. Alexander is regarded as one of the most dangerous one-punch knockout specialists in recent heavyweight memory. Even when he's losing on the scorecards, the Russian brute has the power to end a fight at any time. In round two, Char made the mistake of teasing Alexander and almost calling him to try and deliver one of his finishes. A few rounds later, he got his wish. In the seventh round, Alexander knocked him cold, leaving him collapsed between the ropes. In a WBC super middleweight eliminator, David extended his destructive record with an eight-round knockout of a veteran slugger who was dropped three times throughout the fight. David displayed incredible speed and strength, working at punishing combos on Medina's head and body. Medina somehow held on until the eighth despite two knockdowns. However, in the eighth round, David delivered a flurry of punches, typical of Ward Gotti, that left Medina tripping through the ropes. The former world welterweight champion makes a stunning comeback knocking out Coda in the third round. After a couple of cautious opening rounds, Charlo went on the attack in the third. It didn't take long for him to land a quick right hook, sending his opponent to the canvas. Coda would rise, but he was definitely out of it. Just a few seconds later, a straight right hand was exploded on his chin and finished him off. Two familiar faces in the heavyweight division. David Chua never won a major heavyweight title, but he was a terrifying knockout artist. In August 2002, he defeated former champion Michael Moore in just 30 seconds. Moore did pretty much the worst possible thing and got himself cornered against the ropes with Chua ready to fire. Chua gets in two body punches early. Yeah, that is right swept it a little, right. you're right. And Moore didn't even see it. Fight being too close where he's not. Tony was knocked out by Alexander Usyk in their battle for the undisputed World Cruiserweight title at the Manchester Arena in 2018. On two of the three scorecards, Tony was ahead, but Alexander won the fight with a powerful left hand in the eighth round that sent his challenger flying backward. Closing this gap with, with real, you know, Just 26. He's six foot tall, though. 20 year old sensation Devin Haney knocked out Antonio Moran with a powerful one punch knockout in May of 2019, successfully defending his WBC International Lightweight title. For six rounds, Devin Haney looked sharp, fast, and accurate, dominating the ring against a solid but overmatched opponent. 
The inevitable end came in the seventh round when Haney landed a flush overhand right as Antonio was pinned against the ropes. One, two, and now Haney's got that fire in his eyes. A one hitter continues for the 20 year old sensation. He promised something special and he delivered. Main event, a later Alvarez, Michael Seals. Alvarez bounced back from his first career defeat, stopping Michael Seals in seven rounds in January 2020. The finish came with both men throwing right hands simultaneously, but it was Alvarez's punch that found the mark. Michael was seemingly out on his feet even before his body hit the canvas. Second at the MGM. Brandon Las Vegas, big right hand from a later Alvarez. A right hand himself. Through a left hook, through a right hand. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. After a three and a half year layoff, British slugger David Hay took just over two minutes to prove he was back to shake up the heavyweight division, destroying his Australian opponent with a first round knockout. To face a firing squad at dawn. Championship of the world. Anthony Joshua is 31. Pulev is 39. Heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua knocked out Pulev in the ninth round with a combination of power and patience. In round three, the Briton landed a strong right hand that forced his opponent to face a count and then dropped him with an uppercut seconds later. Perhaps exhausted by the chaos, Joshua eased off the pace, allowing Pulev to pose a little threat. But a flurry of uppercuts in the ninth floored the Bulgarian and a straight right hand wiped him out. Third knockdown of the fight for Anthony Joshua. Right hand and down goes Pulev. Oh, I think no question, Sergio, you're right. Look at that right hand. That, that is Lennox Lewis Hassan Rockman right that, there. That's that beautiful. Defend yourselves at all times. Check hands. Dylan White knocked out Australian heavyweight Lucas Brown in a knockout of the year finish in their heavyweight fight. The 38-year-old Australian was looking to become the number one contender for the WBC title held by American Deontay Wilder, but he was knocked out with a powerful left hand 30 seconds into the sixth round, leaving him down on his face. A bloody pulp. There again, another glob of Vaseline flies through the air, Brown and the referee stops the fight. Simply an easy outing for Dillian White. And there's that thunderous left hook. That moment comes right now. Here we go. Oscar Valdez claimed the WBC Super Featherweight title from Miguel after a stunning knockout victory over his Mexican rival in February 2021. Miguel was badly hurt and put down in the fourth round, but he came back strongly in the middle rounds until being dropped again in the ninth. In the tenth round, however, Valdez landed a powerful left hook, sending Miguel face first to the ground. As the unbeaten 30-year-old became a two-weight world champion in spectacular fashion. In June of 2019, Gennady Golovkin faced the previously undefeated Steve Rolls and knocked him out in the fourth round. Although Rolls performed well in the opening three rounds, hitting punches and refusing to shift, Golovkin pushed the Canadian fighter back in the fourth round with an overhand left to the head. Sensing Rolls was hurt and wobbled, Golovkin attacked and finished the night spectacularly with a left hook that struck Rolls as he fell down face first. Golovkin now backs up and yes, a right hand to the head. Rolls does look rock, hooked to the head as well, and he's hurt. And a right hand over the top. That hook landed, and down goes Rolls in a heat. This might be over already. I'm at the stop hub, and boom, there's that left hook. In just 30 seconds, and before the fans had even gotten comfortable in their seats, Tyson destroyed the son of former heavyweight champion Joe Frazier. Tyson dragged Frazier to the corner and fired a sequence of blows and a devastating uppercut that sent Frazier to his knees. Tyson's 30-second victory was the quickest of his professional career. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos.